there's just six months to go until the 60th anniversary of Doctor Who. A lot of things have already been announced, but there's still plenty of time for more. Uh, later on, I'll be looking at what books, DVDs and Blu-rays may be coming out for the anniversary. But first of all, what can we expect from the TV show? So, what do we know so far? Well, there's going to be three special episodes airing in November. I would guess at least one of them will be on the 23rd. David Tennant is back as the 14th Doctor. And Catherine Tate is back as Donna. Possibly as part of some nefarious plot. By some evil being to restore her memories. But that's just speculation. They've already announced the episode titles. Uh, episode 1 is called The Star Beast. Uh, which suggests it will be an adaptation of the comic of the same name. And we already know from the trailer that the iconic character of Beep the Meep is also included. Special 2 is called Wild Blue Yonder. So presumably they'll be going off to space or something. And episode 3 is called The Giggle, which is certainly not what anybody was expecting for the 60th anniversary episode. Uh, but there you go. Presumably the giggle in question will be coming from Neil Patrick Harris's character. I see strongly rumoured to be the Celestial Toymaker. Or possibly the Valyard. But either way he's definitely a villain. And I'm sure he'll do a fine job. There have been no announcements so far of any Doctors and Companions returning from the classic series. I'm guessing that won't be happening uh, because so many of them came back for last year's episode. So I'm assuming Russell D Davis must have something different in mind for the 60th. But I wouldn't be surprised if say Matt Smith or Peter Cabaldi came back. Uh, maybe even Billy Piper and Karen Gillan. So that these specials could be like a celebration of the new series. In the same way that last year's was a celebration of the classic series. Elsewhere, Big Finish have already started their range of 60th anniversary audio dramas. Um, I already reviewed the first one, starring Tom Baker. And next month we'll see part two, with Peter Davison and Colin Baker. Uh, presumably Sylvester McCoy will be in part three, and Paul McGann in part four. Although it is meant to be his Doctor who is degenerating through all the past Doctors, so perhaps we won't see him again until the finale. It does also seem like Big Finish are trying to get all their major stars into the series, so I guess you can expect Alex Kingston as River Song and Lisa Bowerman as Bernie Summerfield to show up at some point as well. And I guess some of the Torchwood team may also appear, uh, but not the one who's still cancelled because he used to flash people. In books they've just announced the Decade series, uh, six books that will be published on the 26th of October, all set in a different decade and all featuring a different Doctor, uh, but not necessarily the one who was on screen at the time. Uh, there seems to be no serial story to link them, so you can just read any of them you like. Or indeed, none of them. I guess we'll have to wait for the reviews to see if any of them stand out. Uh, personally, I would like to see reprints of the Virgin New Adventures novels and the BBC Eighth Doctor novels, uh, which were released on a monthly basis during the years when the show was off the air. They're all long out of print now, and some of them cost a fortune second hand. So it would be good of them to start reprinting them, or at least making them available on Kindle. And I guess some of them may have a bit too much adult material in them, and the current BBC policy does seem to be that all their Doctor Who books should be suitable for children, which is fair enough. Uh, but they could always put a content warning at the start of those books uh, that contain violence or swearing or naked companions. On the DVD front, things are not so clear. There were rumours back in January uh, that animated versions of the Smugglers of the Underwater Menace would be coming out, uh, but nothing concrete since then. Frankly, these wouldn't be my choices for big anniversary releases. Uh, the Underwater Menace has already been released once, and The Smugglers is nobody's favourite story. Uh, you would expect them to come out with something like the Dalek's Master Plan or the Wheel in Space uh, to celebrate the 60th, uh, but there's no sign of either of them. Uh, there was also the rumour that colourised versions of the black and white episodes uh, would also be coming out. Um, I would certainly be interested in seeing those. Uh, so far fans have done it with brief clips, uh, but with Disney's money behind them, surely it will be possible for them to do entire episodes in the same way. And of course the originals will still be around for the purists. Uh, there's also no news about which Blu-ray releases may be coming out for the 60th anniversary. Uh, season 20 would make sense, as it was the 20th anniversary of the series, and it includes the Five Doctors. Uh, so there could be plenty of special features related to that. Um, also possible is Season 25, uh, which was part of the 25th anniversary. 
and also Season 1, which would make sense as the 60th anniversary release. Uh, personally, I would like to see a Wilderness Years collection, uh, with a TV movie starring Paul McGann, as well as Dimensions in Time, Curse of Fatal Death, and all of the other specials that were released during that period, which would be a good way of celebrating how far the show has come since then. Uh, last but not least, we have Doomsday, uh, which is the forthcoming multimedia series being released across books, comics, audios, and who knows what else. So far, we've only had one brief clip of Doom, and it wasn't particularly well received. But only certain parts of the series have been announced as of yet. Um, I suspect there's a big announcement coming, uh, telling you exactly what Doomsday consists of, and once that's announced, I'll probably do a video looking at how much it'll cost to buy the lot. So stay tuned for that. Uh, well, that's where things stand at the moment. I'm sure there will be plenty more announcements over the coming months. So subscribe to this channel if you want my take on them, or to see my reviews of many of the things I've talked about here. Hope to see you soon.